Kite is a short stop-motion film for children. It's a story about a small boy and about an old man. I wrote the short story, Emil and the Kite, for Martin. And it is a very short fairy tale about a small boy who is visiting his grandparents. They help him to build a kite and he's very fascinated by it. And he goes to play with it, but he gets lost. But in the end he finds his way back home and to the family. During the last couple of years the story has changed a lot, obviously, but uh, this main idea remained the same. That uh, the boy can meet with his grandfather thanks to the skills which he has learned from him. Well, I decided to work with Martin after I saw his film on Berlinale, his previous film Rosso Papavero, also the puppet film, and we met in Bratislava and I asked him that if he has any idea to, for the new film and he introduced me the idea for the kite. Uh, the film talks about the issue of death, but in a simple metaphoric and symbolic way, which is understandable for children aged 5 to 8 years. And I decided to talk about such a topic because when I was in this age, I used to ask adults a lot of existential questions uh, like uh, where do people go after they die, they are not around anymore. And later on I realized that basically there is no one in the entire world who can give me the exact answer, right? Because nobody knows it. So the only thing we can do is to imagine what it might look like. And uh, I imagined it as this big space full of soft fluffy clouds. You can jump in them, swim and dive in them. So in the end it's not so bad. The production and the storyboarding was the part that I enjoyed a lot because with Martin we would uh, have a meeting every each second day and we were really into making the story work and to make the characters come alive so we would intensify the process as much as we could because we knew it will be worth it and we studied a lot of references to actually have the overview of how the how the film will look like and uh, that's basically what we did. We studied every stop motion film that we liked and like in the really big depth we would talk about it and uh, see what we actually like about it. When I seen where Martin took the story I was really surprised, pleasantly surprised. I think the core stayed the same, that the family and the human relationships are important, but I think he gave a really deeper meaning to it. This is actually what I want to say through this film. Like on one hand to explain the fact that none of us is here forever and all living creatures must die. But on the other hand to show that someone's journey doesn't have to end with uh, death. 